Okay, so, yeah, while well, I'm basically, it's the same episode, but, well, you know, it's the next episode, but i basically going to redo everything on camera, but, like, sk skipping the conversation we had in the past videos, uh, because, uh, because technically, uh, Yeah, if you basically want to basically, um, like, thingy, like, watch, um, the first episode of the conversation, uh, will you walk this way, my boy? We Swiss are crazy about you. We don't just... Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, he can't open it. It's locked. So I need key. Find the steel gun. You don't. Okay, we'll do. Right. So anyway, now I need to go here. Talk to her. Little late. Yes. Whoever that. You're missing at. What? 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 Professor Lucien? Yes, do you have the key? Actually, please. Yep, I'm like speed running it now. Like the bits that I basically have done. I was gonna say I things I had to believe done. it, but I had to delete that video I because I... for something other. I am. I am. Oh, are you? Uh, uh, so yeah, I, I know you guys are gonna go stop skipping the, the freaking charts. But if, if if you heard it before, I certainly did. People like but yeah. Pretty sure the chat to her the pops in. I support abs. Now, you will not use our back of that e Mrs. Miller, but I am not. Mrs. Miller? Yes? The little boy, Madge. Oh, yes. Has it? No, I've already. We always cut it on this. Did you know that? Oh, she's all. You have to tell good. No, oh, child. Read as much as you want. So? No, constable. Goodbye, Miss. Goodbye, constable. The steward, Norman. They're only. Hmm. Maybe. Right, so. Nope. 
Stop. I'll talk to my thingy in a minute. Hmm. I suppose at any rate. Locked. Hey, hey! Uh -huh. Don't move! Matt, if you run mad? I'll shoot! Hey, my pistol! You'll get it back in Venice. I could have fallen under the wheels. I thought you were a goat. Goats don't exist. They do too. Once you flew past the window. Yes, yes, sure. Now get hmm. past the window. Hmm. Interesting. I strongly suspect that the door is locked. No, it's open. I could be your eyes on Ori. There is a certain Professor Lucien on the train. He's an archaeologist from London. And what's his story? Well, it seems someone locked him out of his compartment. Locked him out? Well, yes. The door is locked and he's standing outside without a key. Was it locked from inside? It may have been. Hmm. Do you think the locked door could be important? Professor Lucien plays an important role in this story. Well then, Constable Zelna, be my eyes and ears on the train and see that Professor Lucien gets back into his room. Report back to my room. And then there's the Baroness. She's missing her purse. Baroness von Travitz. Interesting. Indeed, sir. But it has nothing to do with our case. So I shouldn't concern myself with the matter. Ah, uh, why not? It's your job as a policeman. But don't expect me to... What do you know of this raven's heir? He tried to play me up! Rob, we don't know who we're dealing with yet. In any event, the new raven is a more dangerous man than the old one. You know it's a man. You could just as easily be a woman. Or several men. And anyway, how do you know that it's a new raven? Monsieur? Never mind. I go attend to the door now. Good. And Constable Zelda. Yes. Don't bother us. Let us have something on. new to report. Of course. A thief might get anxious if there's Let too much on. activity in the freight car. They sent them all locked white. Then we'll know that it's you. Understood. Alexa. Turn bed in my arm. Okay. An investigation on behalf of a man that fits me one step closer. If I can convince him of my competence, I might even be able to see this case through to the end. Alexa, turn all lights off. Alexa, okay. turn all lights off. Okay. Alexa, turn light on. Okay. Right. Sorry guys about that. I didn't need to turn off my bedroom. And because I'm just lazy. I can't be bothered saying. And that's what I'll turn the bedroom light on. PJs. 
and I need. I'm gonna attack two O's, so. Let's light. Ah, Mr. Zen. Tell me, did you not you mean no? Is there any no constant electric attack? A ruby, this boat eats that. Indeed. Any quiet if my people would. It's the arm of that. May I borrow your newspaper? You can take the section with the article on the book. Yes. If you are interested in that bit. You got, <laughs> you got me up. Here you go. Gunkerson, there's something else. Do you know where the conductor is? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. I told him to search for my missing suitcase in Zurich. He hasn't gone back to me yet. He's probably in cahoots with the Finns and didn't bother getting back on the train. If we don't crack down on Berlin like them, the rabble will rule the world one day. Well... At the moment, we still don't know what really happened. He is not here doing his job. That's bad enough. I missing ask, purse. The Baroness is missing her purse. A Baroness? This train is really full of the creme de la creme. The queen of crime is over there. And now a Baroness as well. Have you seen the purse? Unfortunately, no. Do you know Lady Westmacott? You were talking to her. Well, I'm an admirer of her work. And like so many others. I once read in the newspaper that only Shakespeare and the Bible sell more copies than her crime novels. I read that too. She must be filthy rich. As a doctor, I'd have to work a thousand years to earn that kind of money. Auf Wiedersehen, Dr. Gebhardt. Goodbye, Constable. It was a pleasant chat, really. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, my son didn't make any trouble for you, I hope. It's just that he just walked past us, silent and seething. That's usually a sign that someone's laid down the law. I'm afraid so. He played a trick on me, a rather dangerous one. The lad left me no choice but to take away his wooden his pistol toy. as a punishment. I Go. understand. And thank you. Maddie is a very lively child. Sometimes he needs a strong fatherly hand. Where is Matt's father, if I may ask? He's... he's gone. Ah, uh, I understand. Could you, uh, leave Maddie's pistol here, perhaps? So you don't have to bother with it? Of course. Of course. I told him he wouldn't we'll get back until he gets to his destination. Very well. Thank you again, Constable. Professional, but on the other hand, hi Matt. Hello Matt. And he cannot talk to me. Oh come on! Are you going to be angry with me for the rest of the trip? Until I get my pistol back. I gave it just to your mother. mother. Oh man! Couldn't you have just raked me over the coals? Would you, you wouldn't have learned learn anything, anything from, from that? that? I didn't learn anything from this either. All right. Sweet. Would you like a butterscotch? You think you can bribe me? I have no reason to. You made trouble and got punished for it. Take it as a peace offering. Just four? If I'm faster than you, the only three. three. Hey. Friends again? 
and no dangerous nonsense anymore. Okay. Lady West. Your mother is Lady Westmacott's companion, correct? Yeah, but it's not like you think. At first I thought, boy, you must be really wicked if you need to pay for friends. But the lady's really okay. A bit odd and really old. But other than that, she's great. She likes me. The lady has peculiar taste. Hey! Where, where do you live? You and your mother. Do you both live on Lady Westmacott's estate? I'm only there for the holidays. Most of the time I'm at boarding school. I imagine that's not very pleasant. No, it's fine. I have friends there. You always have to be so quiet in the lady's house. But I'm not allowed to bring any friends. Such a big house with so many places to hide. And no one to play hide and seek with. You said it. Your father? And how long has your mother worked for the lady? Two years. And your father? What does he do? He stayed home. I used to go fishing with him. And hunting. He even let me shoot a real gun. And then? Then mom fought with him. And he left. I was seven. Uh, your plan? Oh. And, uh, oh. how old are you now? In eight months? I'll be nine years old. And do you already know what you want to do? So technically you he's up? eight. A burglar? <laughs> no. We'll see. Maybe an actor. Really? Well, I don't know. You need a lot of talent for that. I'm an actor in a theater group, you know? You are? Oh, yes. And I'm one of the best in our group, if I may say so. I get really deep into my roles, you know? I don't just talk like the character. I think like him. I become him. It's the only way to... <coughs> Matt, are you okay? <coughs> I think you just have to be good at copying things to be an actor. Exactly. That, that wasn't bad. Disturbing, but not bad. Missing purse. The Baroness in the second compartment over there is missing her purse. Do you have any idea where it could be? <laughs> Do I ever? Yeah. What about it? What about him? He picked up something in Zurich and put it in his violin case. Really? Really? Yeah. And he made sure that nobody saw him. You saw him, saw him right? Uh huh. Did you also see what it what was? was? Nah, not really. Right. Now I think of it. It must have been the Baroness's purse. I should look into it, shouldn't I? I think so. Tell me, have you seen the steward anywhere? No. He was walking around a little while ago, though. Hopefully they didn't forget it in Zurich. <laughs> What's he supposed to do? I'm looking for a key to open a compartment door. Did you check his things behind the counter? I'm sure the drawers will be locked. Can't you break it open? Or pick the lock like the raven? Perhaps. But I'd need a piece of wire or something like that. Ask my mom. She has a lot of hair picks. She doesn't like the wind messing up her hair. Mm. Thanks for the tip. So long. So longer. The violin case looks pretty old, but that doesn't say anything about the quality of the violin. The best violins are often in the oldest cases. Right, so bear with me. I'm gonna go and upload the next video. Uh, see if that's done. And boom, go back, please. Thank you. Not ah, done it. Clingy ditch. Too much. And oh, well, there we go. Yes, it's done. All right. So now we're gonna have to thingy upload the next video. And thingy it. Gets hot full next you 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 public public. Alright. 
So, sorry guys about that, I'm just um, uploading my next video. Because uh, the way I technically like it, I like to record it and get it uploaded like straight away so you guys can watch it. Since I got better internet than BT. I mean, I didn't mind BT, it's just the connection in this building was so crap. So, yeah. And, and it was like so slow because we need to fuck fiber. So, fiber is like better than BT. No offense, BT. But. You want to basically beat. If you want better internet, I recommend Viber. Because, yeah, you know, if you if you are a YouTuber like me and you want to like upload videos a lot quicker. All right, let's go and talk to this finalist. Excuse me, sir. The a passenger is missing her purse. Perhaps it was stolen. Really? Someone saw you with your violin case on the platform in Zurich. What's the meaning of this? I didn't steal anything. Nobody said you did. I just wanted to ask you whether you might have noticed anything on the platform. But why did you think I was accusing you? Well, you mentioned my violin case in the context of the press. Apropos, may I have a look at your violin? It please. must be a very extraordinary... Please, please, with a cherry on top. That's not possible. It's a Done. Very valuable. Then, and also very sensitive. What could harm it here? It's Light light's air. air. May I ask you to open the violin, the violin case? Please. please. No? I'm not guilty of anything. I'm afraid I have to insist. Then I'm afraid you need a warrant. I will not stand back and let you rifle through my belongings. Have a good trip. Thank you. The wooden toothpicks, nothing unusual. Thank you, game, for loading the next area. It kind of glitched out for me for a sec. Yes, if it isn't too much of an yes, inconvenience. Please. Of course it's an inconvenience, but only a small one. You are welcome. Thank you, Thank you so very much. Uh, Miss Matt Mother. Mrs. Miller? Yes? Do you have any hairpins on you? Uh, please excuse my unusual request, but Matt said you have some hairpins. Could I borrow one? One of my hairpins? It's a long story. It would be a big help. Well, if you really need one, go ahead, Mary. The constable won't do it any harm. We'll be used to sell you. Of no, of course not. Is this one okay? It yeah. Be nice to you, madam. Thank you. Very kind of you. Goodbye, Mrs. Miller. Goodbye, Constable.
I suppose the steward won't object to me having a look around in his absence. Who would have thought that one day butterscotch would remind me of my age and of all the things I had to leave behind? The pad on which the steward writes orders, empty. Maybe he didn't use it because there's not much to do today. I don't need Pick the, up pad, the pad, but the pencil might come in handy. Pen with mm. this. When I scratch the pencils lead with the scissors, I get fine graphite powder. I won't get a Nobel Prize for the idea, but graphite powder will bring out fingerprints at a pinch. I need a bit of wire or something like that to pick the lock. Like this and as a sample. It's me who's the thief on the train. Oh. Plot has twist. I am the thief. That was easier than expected. Mm. Bad horse. Oh, like toothbrush. Shaving brush. But not the key to the compartment door. Just this one. Mm. Too small for the door, but it might still be useful. A shortwave radio. It's amazing how small these things have become in the last ten years. Oh, that will give you an achievement. So, yeah. If you just turn on. I already got the achievement, so... I'm not gonna do it. Swiss policeman, madam. I couldn't do otherwise <coughs> even if I <coughs> Goodbye, Mrs. Miller. Goodbye, Constable. There are thousands of things I would like to ask her, but nothing would justify neglecting my duties here on the train. Okay. Hmm? Yes. Fine. 
locked door. Do you have any idea why the door was locked? I don't know. Or maybe the constant vibrations caused the lock to lock itself. You can't possibly believe that. Well, then what's your theory? The conductor could have locked it from the outside. On the other hand, it could have been someone here in the compartment who locked the door from the inside. Who? And where have they gone? They could have climbed out there. Who would be that insane? You tell me, Professor. Manifold. So, what are you hiding in your bag? What do you have that would be worth stealing? No, nothing. No valuables? Certainly not. <laughs> not on my salary. It was enough for a first-class compartment on a luxury train. That's my business. You're playing a dangerous game, Professor Lucien. Look around. I'd like to look around a bit. Of course. Hmm. Assuming there really was someone in the compartment, and he climbed out the window, where is he gone? What are you doing? I'm trying to make what I suspect are fingerprints visible. <laughs> and? Found anything? Unfortunately, no. There are only a couple of fingerprints on the window. It was probably clean before departure, but the prints I can see look like glove marks. But well, wouldn't you expect that? What professional burglar wouldn't wear gloves? Which makes me wonder what a professional burglar would hope to find in your compartment. I don't have anything to say to that. I thought as much. Excuse it me. was worth a try. What's this? What do you have there? It's a button. From a suit or a uniform, I guess. The burglar might have lost it. Maybe. Or maybe not. If I notice anyone with a missing button on his jacket, I'll ask him about it. But I wouldn't get my hopes up. If there was a burglar, he climbed out the window and jumped off the train. received a gift like that as well. I really wonder what the professor is hiding from me. But I can't just rifle through the luggage of innocent citizens. This is the 60s. Hmm. No, nothing interesting. Fairy tales, Moby Dick, and gin, whiskey, and rum. All classics. but I suspect our fingerprints visible. <laughs> and? Unfortunate, there are only a couple of fingerprints on the window. It was probably clean before departure. But well, wouldn't you expect that? Which makes... I... I thought it's mine. It was worth a try. Professor Lucien? Yes? Oh, nothing. Well, 
good. He's hiding something from me, and I have to find out what it is. So I'm going to basically stop here for this episode uh, because technically I kind of wanted to get the professor in, in his flats at the moment. But in the next episode we are going into thingy. Anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.